Dr. Duane, will defunding Planned Parenthood hurt women's health? Absolutely not. As you did note, $500 billion goes to Planned Parenthood, primarily through government grants and through Medicaid. If that money stopped going to Planned Parenthood, it could go to community health centers and other practicing providers that provide true, comprehensive women's health care. In fact, Planned Parenthood only addresses a narrow segment of a woman's health care needs. Women's health care needs extend well beyond their reproductive health. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, the most likely cause of death for women is heart disease, followed by cancer, followed by stroke. These are issues that Planned Parenthood does not address. As a physician who worked at a community health center and was a former medical director of two community health centers here in the D.C. metropolitan area, I can tell you from firsthand experience that community health centers can provide far more comprehensive, holistic, life-affirming care to patients from all walks of life. Now, community health centers outnumber Planned Parenthood 20 to 1. Significant. So would they be prepared for this influx of women who would be going to them if Planned Parenthood is defunded? You're right. In fact, there's um, a little over 13,000 community health centers and rural health clinics as compared to just 600 Planned Parenthood community health centers, um, uh, 600 Planned Parenthood clinics. Mm -hmm. Community health centers serve about 25 million people whereas Planned Parenthood only serves 2.7 million, so about 10% of what community health centers provide. So yes, indeed, that would increase the numbers at community health centers by another 10%, but if that funding could be directed to those community health centers so they could hire more family physicians, more nurse practitioners, they could easily absorb mm -hmm. those patients. And again, not merely provide health services for women or sexually transmitted disease testing for men, but provide comprehensive health care for women, men, and their children, whether they're born or unborn. Planned Parenthood's focus is how can we build our brand? How can we bring more people? So that's where they're spending their money, on the marketing. At community health centers, we're spending our money on caring for patients. So again, when I was a medical director of two community health centers here in Washington, D.C., where we served an almost exclusively poor, um, low literacy population in great need, rather than spending money on marketing, hmm. we spent that money on developing programs, for instance, one called Celebrate Life or Celebremos La Vida, which was a women's health care program. It was designed to bring women in, address their health needs, ensure they had their pap smear for cervical screening. We actually did mammograms on site, unlike Planned Parenthood, which yeah. says they do mammograms or for we did the mammograms and we spent the money, invested it in a staff person that could help navigate and support these women to get those health care needs met. Actually caring for the exactly. woman, being pro-woman.